Poetry is about magnifying the moment. I got a call from a member in this group the other day saying, and I'm really enjoying writing poetry, Jesse. It's, it's really cool. Like you've kind of helped awaken my desire to express myself and get more playful and creative, but the, but not Anne, but I mean, how does this really, really help me as a trial lawyer? And I mean, there's a billion and zillion things that I could have shared with them, but I, I went to, I think maybe, perhaps maybe the most beneficial um, takeaway from the practicing um, of writing poetry. And it's about being able to magnify the moment. We have magnifying minds. And your job is to focus your audience's attention on that one single thing, that choice that you want to be able to magnify. So you want to look at your jurors essentially as a microscope and you're dialing in, them in into this one moment that for many of us is, you know, an ordinary moment. But for them and this family, it was extraordinary. And you highlight that moment and that contains your victor story. It also contains your villain story. What is happening within this one moment? Can I be present to this moment? Can I sharpen and focus and heighten my awareness on this moment in time? And that is what the poem is for me. And I want to train myself to be able to recognize those glimpses that would otherwise be passed over in my life. And to be approached this moment with a feeling of awe. And asking myself a, a, a great question that we say in the theater all the time is, what else could this be? This extraordinary moment. When you put the pen to paper, it's the same idea as approaching the monologue. You're finding the right words, the right scene that capture this, this sacred moment, this tiny little thing that you get to magnify. And so in the short form, we get to experience an entire world because you're so keenly locked on to what it is that creates this moment. The sights, the sounds, the smells, the taste, the touch. This tiny little speck is extraordinary. And that is your job as a trial lawyer to bring us into that world. And so I said to him, so did that answer your question? He's like, I think so. So that's the question. What are you doing with this one sacred moment? Practice. Find that thing that would order, uh, uh, something within a child's bedroom, <laughs> something within your own home. Look at it as if it's for the very, very first time. An exchange that you have between you and your wife and just take those, you know, the, the one or two back and forths and ask yourself what's going on in this moment, what's happening on the surface, and then look deeper, what is happening beneath the surface. Your job as a storyteller and as a trial lawyer, as you are connecting to other human beings, is to breathe life into these tiny, sacred moments, and then make them ours.